I need to learn how to do that. Teach me your ways. Oh, teach me your ways, bro. Hello. Yes. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Welcome uh, back. Better now that we've had lunch. Yeah, we've had lunch. We were a little uh, empty interior. We had some empty interior. Empty yards. interiors. We just had <laughs> empty interiors. <laughs> and now they're interiors. More. Can you say that? Interiors. Interiors. Interior. That's the two words put together. Interiors. Interiors. That's M-terious. exactly what we had. Yeah, but now we're just normal now. But what we need actually now is a sofa, because uh, this is about uh, guitars that you might play on your sofa. Yeah, let's say you get home. Let's say you get home from work. Uh huh. You put on your leftovers in the microwave because you're too lazy and tired to make something new for dinner. It's actually going to microwave for three minutes, which is a little long, but you know it's got to be done. So what do you do? I'm gonna. Oh, I need to sit on the couch. And what do you see on the couch? It's sofa. your sofa guitar. Yeah, it's your couch guitar. <laughs> couch guitar, sofa guitar, Chesterfield. Oh, we should have maybe a Chesterfield. A, ma- yeah. Maybe a futon, maybe a love seat, a recliner, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. <laughs> yeah, when you sit in front of the TV yeah. and just have a little noodle and a little jam, it might not really need to be uh, you know, a big sound. You know what I mean? Just something to, something to get your hands on. Yeah, and, and we've play. picked... Four on four different uh, budgets in the shop, um, and I've got here the Alvarez, which has got this uh, name called Blues One uh, Five One VE, and E stands for electric. Oh, 
Mm. Okay. So you might not use that at home, but if you have got a little sneaky acoustic amp there, maybe yeah, yeah. one of these little uh, Boscaton, the air one, where you've got a little wireless system, oh, yeah. you plug that into there, that sits over there and you Clang. have a little jam. See? Good. It's good, isn't good. it? That works. Um, but this is just a smaller body guitar. This is about 550 pounds, so the, the, the most affordable one uh, of, of the range here. And all the specs will come up now on the screen. See? Check it out. <laughs> but I really do, I really do like the Elmer's guitars. They really do some, some, uh, some great guitars with the open gear tuners. Ooh, yeah. You know, this has got a slightly, if you can see that, a slightly... Yeah, it's a arch little bit back of arch To give it a Very little nice. bit, bit more uh, punch in the sound. It's a very narrow box, punch in the sound hole. <laughs> Taylor's lost it. Uh, it gives a bit more of a punch, uh, uh, but the box is quite narrow. Uh, so it's really nice to sit with, depending on, everybody's laughing. Huh? So depending on what. Yeah, it's contagious. So stop it. So, you, so, so what if you are, you know, like a, a, a smurf, a small, a smurf. A smurf. If you're a, smurf. <laughs> if you're a smaller person, if you, or you know, if you are a smaller framed person, yeah, yeah. it's not easy to sit yeah. anywhere with your arm over a dreadnought. Yeah. It could be uncomfortable for me as well. Yeah. Do you feel that? Do you I'm, know a long, you feel that? I'm a long armed, long legged <laughs> kind of guy. So something like a dreadnought is- small body. Yeah, like this. super small body, but like my Love legs it. are long and my arms are long. So a dreadnought, I, I, I'm happy it's to reach. The, uh, so yeah, so you, you are a longer limbed person, you know, so you are easier. But so these, these things, yeah. just, they sit on a sofa, they can, you know, easy to pick up. I mean. So this Elros here, five, about 550 quid. Um, nice, easy to play. It feels nice. It's got a slightly V on them. They make some really, really good feeling guitars. Sounded good from here. You'll have a, you'll have a go. But you can hear the sound. It's more of a finger pickers guitar, right? It sounds like a like a Stella kind of parlory kind of thing. Yeah, which which makes sense. You you know you have that's what you really want to have. You know when you are sitting down and sort of yeah, reclining, yeah, yeah. if you've got a massive guitar on you. So. Nice. 12 fret neck joint as well, which means that it, is, it has got that parlor size thing. Yeah. Great for strumming, the action. You got some but it's, Friends season three on the TV. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. On you, mute and though, you said, on mute. And you're sure. You have a little jam. So you try this, All right. just have a little go on that. Oh, actually, before you do that, okay. just tell us about. Okay, well, this is the lowest budget yeah. one we have of the four. Yeah. This is the highest. Yeah. Uh, in terms of price, this is the Atkin 47, and I am yeah. falling for these guitars pretty hard. Like, yeah, we've done another video today. That first is... of all, look at that aging on. Look at that. Yeah, isn't that? Can you see that? The crack. The crackalaka. Gorgeous. So I love it, that. This is actually Lee's guitar. This is Lee's personal guitar. Uh, because we had I mean, we had the other yeah, ones smells, in stock. It smells like Lee. Yeah. It smells like Lee. We we did have the others in stock, but all of the um, the you know the, let's just they say it like up. it is. They all sold, but these are the Gibson styled guitars. Yeah. you know, so uh, they are styled after pre-war Gibson. However, here are the specs. Not pre-war, because forty-seven. Uh, oh, sorry, forty-seven is the year. That's when. Well, that's when the numbers apparently. Right. So that's Anyways, why they're called forty-seven. Here are the specs. Specs. Yeah, I know that's why it's after the war. And here's the specs. Ba -ba -ba, do -do 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 Anyways, um, beautiful guitar. Yeah. Um, Fourteen fret kind of vibe here, yeah. you know. Uh, sounds like this. Oh yeah. Play it all day. Yeah. It's the kind of guitar. <sighs> I mean, it feels it's good. To it's play. expensive. It's about twenty-seven hundred pounds as well. Yes. So, so this is not uh, like we said. This is the most expensive of the four. Um, yeah. Depending what your budget is. Yeah. And you want to leave this on your sofa? Sure. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I mean, we can play any of these guitars anywhere. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not, you know. But it's just, you know, you can play them anywhere. It is just But a, it is a nice size. A little title. <laughs> it's a little smaller. It's easier to just... Okay, what was that, honey? Yeah, yeah. why don't, why don't you yeah, tell but us I'll, this so, I'll, so, you know, this is, has been one of my favorite guitars for, I mean, since they came out um, some years ago now. <coughs> uh, this is the Martin um, double, uh, Triple O 15. So we try to get a double O because that is more like the same size as these ones, so a smaller, smaller guitar. Um, but these are solid uh, mahogany. The whole thing is mahogany. And these are the um, second. This is the second most expensive of the yeah, four. Yeah, this is about thirteen hundred and fifty pounds. Um, you know, you got all the stuff, open gear tuners, and, and and everything, and all the specs of this guitar is now here. <laughs> Oh man, sorry, that was horrible uh, spec music. <laughs> That's Screwing fine. Up that time. <laughs> this time we messed it up, and I couldn't play it before either. So, I'm a big fan of these guitars. Um, I've got a, an O15, which is a custom made, um, so it's a much smaller guitar. It's almost more like that size, mm. uh, but they only made, um, it was a West Side distribution. The guys who distribute Martin in the UK, they made a specially limited run of those. I don't think they're making them anymore. Um, so, I was lucky to get my mitts on one of those and actually that guitar is the guitar for me that is my sofa guitar because that sits on my sofa most of the time that guitar is amazing yeah. I, I have played that guitar yeah. of yours that is a special guitar it's a smaller very, than that even it's much smaller quite, than quite this, small, yeah. yeah and and the neck is different so it's got because it's it was a custom made thing it's got a uh one thing called neck when this mm. is 11 16th inch neck mm. so it's easier to play which also make it you know that anyone can pick it up and play it and it it's sounds here. a bit like this So it's not really loud guitar, so you know if you are sitting on your sofa and you don't want to really disturb the neighbors or anything. But it's enough, it's enough sound, it's very clear in the sound yeah. and open, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> these guitars are really, they just have a lot more character than your standard size acoustic in some ways. Yeah. I love these kind of guitars for recording, like Finger picking. I mean, this oh, is yeah, yeah. this is the old one out of these of these four. Really, this is it's just to show that it is. I think when you think about stuff that you have play in your house and lying around in your house, that is sort of your sofa guitar, right? Yeah. Or your couch guitar. It's stuff that is a little bit more simple and maybe not so blingy. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where, yeah, yeah. where these look like they they look a bit more at home on there. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but. I really like these guitars. I'm a big fan of these, and I know Martin have had a massive success with yeah. these guitars. For and good reason. Great value for money. And I yeah. think if you're thinking about the rosewood and all the stuff that's the problem, I think um, mahogany will probably be ne next on the list. Mm. So, you know, grab one of these while they're hot because there won't be, um, be many that left. many many of that going. Rosewood, rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. Anyway, Anyways, so, the which leaves us uh, the, the faith. Their faith, because you gotta They're have faith. faith. <laughs> well, I guess it would be nice. If I could touch your body. All right. Anyways, <laughs> it's, it's got a body like you. I really dig these guitars. This is the Mercury model, yeah. by the way. High gloss. Um, with the cutaway, I yeah, love the cutaway. Yeah, I've never seen that. No, I think they are. That is I interesting. Might not be sure, but. It's, it's quite unique to, to their shape. So it's a 12th fret. Yeah. Oh, you got, look at that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at that back, book uh, uh We're gonna show you the specs right here. Give me, hit the music. Cue the music. Specs. All right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, very cool guitar. I've never played one of these. Um, yeah. No, it is they, quite pretty. They make some really beautiful guitars. What was the price for this? This is, a, uh, I think, about eight uh, six nine. So you have a price bracket where you start here, and then you, if you get, if you use yeah. it, if you, you know, five hundred quid, five ish, eight hundred quid, thirteen, thirteen. So you jump kind of, uh, the jump gets higher and higher. This one's up. quite the jump, but yeah. But you get what you pay for. It's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. So uh, here's how, some here's how the this, faith sounds. Yeah, check it out.
feels like very easy and nice to play. They're now. easy to play on there. But so what you can hear now is that it's it's definitely less. There's less t less sound coming out, right? Yeah, I mean, we've been They're doing a smaller body. We've been doing videos all day about and talking about how a guitar sounds so much different when you're in front of it than when you're yeah. playing it. And yeah. this one is quite fairly quiet. Yeah. I do prefer to hear a bit more volume when when you're behind it playing yeah, yeah. it. But again, yeah. if you're if you're if this is just your, your casual steed that you just pick up to, to casual get a, steed, I want you just to, to try to that. go for a rip on yeah. uh, a rip on back. <laughs> yeah, but. That one that's the underachiever. Oh. This is a uh, this is really nice. You know what? So yeah, and now I just want you just to try this oh, yeah, yeah. really quick. And then how about that thing though? I mean, this is lovely. Uh, it is definitely much uh, more of a grab it and play it guitar. If, hey, I, yeah, if you want to dig in harder on that yeah, thing on this guitar, because absolutely. you feel like you can take it. Yeah, but I must admit, out of all of these, out of all of these. That's, I your, think that's I'll, your go? I'll, I think I'll, I would go for, for the Martin. Really? Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, this is it. Again, I have, I'm getting it's, the same feeling like the... Uh, um, like this one where you, you feel like you want to... Now I'm, I'm I do play a lot of acoustic. I play a lot more electric these days, so I'm used to digging in. Yeah. Sometimes when I dig in too hard on an acoustic, it's like oh we're in we're, we're buzzing more than we need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like a guitar like this one and this one can take it, can take the abuse. It this wants is, it. It wants it. It wants to take it. Yeah, yeah man. it's not it's not bad guitar. I would describe it as less sound than any any of the other ones. I'm not yeah. sure actually, because I have one of these. Maybe if it was something just lying around, I would probably go for that actually. Yeah. For a really reasonable price. Yeah. Uh, and if I had loads of money to spend and no children, I'll go for that one. You buy two of those. One for the living room and for the family. Room. <laughs> I wouldn't have a family room because I didn't need a, need one. Right. You know what I'm saying? TV. Which room. one is your favorite? Well, this is my favorite. Yeah. But uh, realistically, <laughs> if I was on a budget, yeah, I, uh, I you go for this one. Yeah, interesting. Comes with a nice case as well. This one. I, I like how this one was just a little different. Yeah, feels good to play. I could just feel like you could. It's gorgeous, dig man. Into it. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I had I have faith in the faith. It is absolutely stunking, as they say. Stunking. Stunking. Stunning. Uh, Fishman ink system in here. That has got electric system in it, you know. So you do yep. get a little bit, little bit more. I like these uh, little dots on there. It's cool. I mean, yeah, show, show them that. There's you not, can see there's a little can you see that pickup little, system Fishman thing yeah. here. Fishman there. I mean, yeah, maybe this one. Because I don't have anything like. Well, I do have something like this. So again, it's like, and I do have something like that. Yeah. But I don't have anything like this. No. 
you know. But yeah. what do you want? Why don't you comment in the video well, in what's the your favorite? description below? And why don't you please like the video as well? Yes. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, we would absolutely love for you to subscribe. Yes. Because we got many more videos like this. And we also have a drum channel. If you are a drummer and watching this uh, guitar video, I don't know why you would, but maybe you would anyway. <laughs> go, on, go over to the uh, Anderson's drum channel. Yes. And subscribe to that. And we've got a Tech Keys channel where we do reviews and all of that kind of stuff, like microphones and keyboards and tech stuff. It's endless. And subscribe there as well. Endless content. Endless love. Endless and, love. Uh, and I was Pete. I was Ariel. And we will see you next time here on Anderson's TV. Bye bye. <laughs>